Okay, okay welcome back. Um, Mr. Wasiu Taiwo is the national president of the Nigerian Union of Tailors. Now, what is the contribution of that, of your industry, industry to employment? Thank you very much. I, I always said, when I look at the situation of Nigeria as a whole, that one, we are not supposed to be where we are today. That's number one. Because why we have what it takes to compete with any other countries of the world. So it gives me a lot of headache. Number two, I believe three things are key to human beings in life. Food, shelter, and clothing. If you're able to get those three, all other things are you know, you can manage with luxury. It. <laughs> so, I think our our government should realize this now, because we have been pushed to the wall, and thank God we are in recession. I think this is supposed to be a lesson for us to start doing what we are supposed to do as a nation, as a father that wants to take care of his children. Um. Employment, employment, employment. You are not talking about the skill, which is the key for any development. You first of all give the skill. What is happening to our um, technical schools today? Our forefathers trade, trade are open mm. all these technical schools around this country. They know what we're doing because they are supposed to be the engine room all this industry we're talking about. If you don't have the skill, you cannot do anything. The, why, the time of white collar job is over. We should all realize that. And government should wake up to its responsibility and start doing what they're supposed to do by making sure we give skills to the youth. Make them, you know, work, create jobs. You talk about enable environment. Yes, enable environment we don't have. It has to be created for us to get to where we are supposed to be. Unless, I don't know, we are in, we are in recession, I pray we should not go to depression. <laughs> yes. the, 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 the role of the artisans, I mean, as they will say, the government alone cannot create the job. I think right. it was somebody that said that. But with skills, for instance, there are people out there that have various kinds of skills. Growing up, some people were taught by their parents how to make clothes, yes. not like they are tailors. Yes. So they can actually use those skills if they want. Right. Is that when you say enabling environment, what kind of environment are you looking at? Countries like Singapore or China, I think uh, Korea, for instance, mm -hmm. they have a, a building set up with sewing machines. You come in there and sew what you need to sew and go and sell. Is that what you're looking at? <laughs> That's what we call a production of. Let me now take you back a little. I will talk first on my, I mean, uh, as a tailor. My industry can generate massive employment because we are now, we are not going to start doing it the way it is done during the old days. We are, we can't compete internationally because we are not producing. Most of the tailors we have in Nigeria, yes, mm. they are just made to measure tailors. We have thousands of them because we are computing our uh, database right now. They are all made to measure tailors individual. You go to the market, get your fabrics, send it to your tailor. The tailor will start looking for the thread to match, button to match. He has waited all the time. That is the position we are. But other countries, even most of our African countries, has gone far, far beyond us because we're going for so many international exhibitions and we are like we are on our own. Because you have Egypt, you have uh, Kenya having about 20, 30 stands, and Nigeria is having only one or two. In Las Vegas, in South Africa, in UK, you know, so we are on our own. It's, we are not producing, so we can't compete. That's why I say skill is number one. The Chinese of this world don't have anything. They don't have much resources that we have in Nigeria. They, 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 they develop their human capacity and make sure they send it around, around the world and bring, you know, a lot of hard-earned currency back home. Mm. So, 
we should start doing that now. Now we are in recession. The youths, the, we are turning our graduates, and the companies are folding up. How do we meet? It's, it's, it's unbelievable. It? Okay, let's let's break it. Let's tie it All right. down a little bit. I know they are <laughs> for bringing the other guys. We right. uh, you called about production hub. Right. When you say production hub, the federal government right now is, is like doing an intervention program where they're employing people and paying them a certain amount of money. Do you think providing some like a, a a place, maybe an IT hub, let's an IT hub. A sewing hub, maybe a long warehouse yeah. where you have just yeah. sewing machines. Yeah. You come in there, it's already programmed. You sit down and do your cuts, not cut to measure, as you said. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, made to come measure. in there, uh. made to measure. Yeah. You come in there, do your cutting, and it's like there's a market for it already. And the IT area, the same thing, and all. Of that. Those are the kind of things you're looking to. See. Yeah, the, the, it, it's two ways. It depends on the situation you find yourself. If you want to get out of recession in 12 months or 24 months, it depends on you. If you want to get out of the recession in 12 months, you're supposed to have an arrangement. Okay. All the informal sectors in this country, put them under the same roof. Ask them what is their challenges. Few of them that are ready or that are started can influence others and get things done. Okay. Having a production up is not the business of government. All the girls, that's what I mean by enable environment. Mm. Few of us that are ready on the business, that are volunteer, that we are not going to run away from this country, mm. should be given the opportunity. We are working on the production of right now. By the grace of God, it will happen very soon. Okay. If we have that, if you are, a, you, are, you are an investor, you may not even know anything about this business at all. And you just want, you have some money you want to invest. We can, we can, we can, we can advise you to invest in tailoring and fashion design, and before you know it, you have a boutique that you are selling on your own labor. Okay, mm -hmm. Dennis, the the provision of an enabling environment. When you were talking, you talked about the fact that government has no business with jobs. I mean, everybody says that government has no business with jobs, but then there's the other side of skill. That's one. He talked about the absence of soft skills but there's the other side of attitude even for those that have the skills do they have the attitude for work that's a question that a lot of people will ask those who say they they, they, they want jobs do they have that attitude to work well attitude i i believe is um it has to do with, indivi with the individual, how you feel. And um, these attitudes could be negative or positive. Now, if, if, we, if we look at the unemployment rate in the country, I think that many of the employees have the attitude because they are willing to work, they're desperate to work, and they would be willing to do whatever it takes to keep to keep them on that job. So the attitude plays a very significant role in employability there. So that's just my own personal opinion. They have the, they, 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 they will muster it at some point in time and develop the, the positive attitude because it has to do with the individual values mm. someone has. Okay, individual values. Yes. What if the person does not have any values whatsoever? Is mm -hmm. it possible that an individual don't have any values? Then that's a negative attitude. <laughs> but yes. some people get employed. I mean, Femi said, he said academic qualification doesn't translate to employability because that's some people are employed and they are not able to do anything. Mm -hmm. that's they just correct. sit down there collecting salaries at the end of mm -hmm. the day. That's correct. But anyway, we, we, we've been joined by... Akin Oyebo, the Executive Secretary of the Lagos State Employment Trust Fund. Before you came in, um, Otuma was talking about the, an enabling environment. I asked a question, do we need production hubs? Should government provide a hub where people can come and do production? Should that be a government business? Not the intervention they are doing now, giving out 